know, I love this time of year, spring. Um, you just feel the winter's coming to an end, uh, summer's on its way, the weather's good, um, and it's Easter. And Easter's a precious time to me. Um, it's a time when I think of the Lord Jesus Christ, of, of his death and his resurrection. Um, and uh, it's a time when maybe you have a few days uh, with your family, with your friends, and, and you just relax a bit. So it's a great time of year. But you know, this year, things are different, aren't they? And uh, our lives are totally different right now to what we're used to. The coronavirus has affected us all in one way or another. Uh, I've got family and friends who, who have been affected by this, and maybe you have too. And our whole lifestyle has changed. We can't go out. We're locked down in our houses, our homes, or our flats, or wherever we live. And maybe, in fact certainly, we just don't really know what lies ahead. We, we don't know the future and what's coming, and we're uncertain. And you know, that brings fear, doesn't it? And a lot of people right now are fearful. Maybe you feel like that. Maybe you're afraid and you're frightened. And uh, that's quite understandable, really. And because life's been turned upside down, hasn't it? It's changed. And it's difficult. Well, you know, there's a verse in the Bible, in 1 John, and chapter 4, and verse 18. And it says, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. You know, that's a beautiful verse. So what does it mean? What is perfect love? Well, in order to really find out what perfect love is, we need to take ourselves back about 2,000 years to the time when the Lord Jesus walked on this earth uh, and to a time when the followers of the Lord Jesus, those men and women who believed in him, uh, well they maybe felt a bit like we do right now. Everything had changed for them. They didn't know what lay ahead. And they were frightened and they were fearful for themselves because the man who they come to love, the man Jesus Christ, who they come to love, to know, to trust, to believe in, they'd seen him put to death on a cross at a place called Calvary. And for them, everything was now different. It had changed. And as we join them, they're locked in a room they're locked in a room for fear of what people may do to them because they were worried because they were linked to Jesus Christ, they followed him and they thought, well, maybe we'll be next, maybe we're in danger and they were fearful and maybe they weren't fully aware of the bigger picture at this point. But then, locked in this room, then, suddenly, Everything changed because we read that the Lord came into that room and he went right into the middle of them and he said, peace be with you. Beautiful words, peace be with you. And that's what they needed right then. They needed peace. And I think that's what we all need in our lives. We need it now more than ever really, peace. You know, Jesus Christ can bring that peace and he brought it to those men that day in that room locked in there and there uh, they saw the Lord they saw his wounds and the Bible tells us that then they were glad when they saw the Lord everything had changed everything was falling into place the bigger picture you see this man that they knew and learned so much from and come to love he'd said that he would die on a cross 
He says that he'd be spat at, laughed at, abused, crucified on a cross. And he also said that three days later, God would raise him from the dead. And these men were coming to realise that that was exactly what God had done. And I think they realised that God had done that for them. Because, you know, they weren't like the Lord Jesus. They weren't perfect as he was, as he is. They were full of sin. And, you know, I'm the same. And in truth, we all are. But they realised that Jesus Christ had died. And he now rose again. And he dealt with all that. He dealt with the sin. And things were now different. That is the perfect love that the verse we read talks about. The perfect love of the Lord Jesus Christ. Perfect love. That a man would lay down his life for his friends. And you know, that's the perfect love that we can all know in our lives. You know, there was another man, one of the Lord Jesus' followers, a man called Thomas, who wasn't there in that room at that time. But a little while later he was, he was with his friends and he was locked again in a room. And uh, his friends told him, they said, we've seen the Lord, he was here with us. And he said, you know, unless I see his wounds, unless I feel them really, I, I can't believe. Well, you know, the Lord knew that and again, he appeared to those men, and this time to Thomas too. And uh, Thomas was able to see the Lord Jesus for himself and see his wounds and touch them. Uh, and he believed. He believed. And the Lord, you know, in a loving way, he said to him, you know, Thomas, because you've seen, you've believed. But he said, blessed are those that have not seen yet have believed and you know that's us today that's anybody who today believes on the Lord Jesus Christ because I've not seen him but with faith I believe you know these men we've heard about they were eyewitnesses to everything that went on they saw Jesus Christ crucified on the cross and now they had seen him risen they'd seen him risen They'd seen his body, they'd seen the wounds, and they knew what had taken place. Well, you know, today God, he wants us to see the same thing and to simply believe. You know, the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. And you know, that is true. So all God asks us to do is simply believe on his son. Believe on the perfect love that he's shown us, really. And you know, when you do, the fear is gone. You know, I have peace about my future. Okay, we're unsettled right now, but I know the bigger picture. I know one day I will be with the Lord Jesus because I simply have believed in him and have trusted him. And you know, that's what God wants us for us all. So in times of uncertainty, in times when we don't know what lies ahead, and we're worried and we're frightened, well, we can have real hope. If we know the Lord Jesus Christ as our Saviour, if we believe in him, believe that he simply died on the cross and rose again to deal with our sins, then we can have peace, the peace that the Lord talked about when he met those disciples that day. And uh, that's what God wants for us. So thanks for taking time to listen to this, really. Uh, and, uh, you know, remember... There's no fear in love. Perfect love casts out fear. So right now, stay safe, stay in, and uh, God bless you all.